the legendary wild dingo, the iconic kangaroo, vicious feral cats, the delightfully bizarre platypus, and the unmistakably cuddly koala. All call Australia home. One of Australia's most recognizable creatures spends most of its life hidden from view in the comfort of the gum trees it calls home. Found in Eastern and Southern Australia, koalas are known for their slow and sleepy leaf-eating lifestyle. Yet there is much more to the famed koala than meets the eye. Those that live in the cooler southern parts of the country can almost be a third bigger with thicker, shaggier fur than those that live in the warmer, more tropical climates further north. Fitting their surroundings perfectly, the gray and white of the koala's fur merges them seamlessly with the peeling barks of the eucalyptus tree. In open country, these agile climbers need to come down to move from tree to tree. Koalas have a range of sounds used to communicate. Males have a deep grunting bellow that will give away their status as well as their position. One dominant male will have a territory that includes the home range of several females. To all koalas, their highly developed senses of hearing and smell are their lifelines. The wild dogs that roam through much of the koala's range are a deadly threat, killing more koalas than any other predator. Although armed with sharp teeth and claws, a mother with her joey are no match for a pack of large dogs. Her strong limbs and grasping paws will have to carry them to safety. Unable to reach her high in the sanctuary of her gum tree, the dogs move on. Opposing thumbs on her hind feet, a split hand arrangement on her forefeet, and long, sharp, strong claws enable this mother to take her joey high into the comparative safety of the treetops. Koala joeys don't leave the pouch until they are seven months old. And even then, they will often seek the comfort and reassurance of their mothers. They will sleep in her lap and take her milk until they are a year old, often disappearing back into the pouch and the safety that it offers, away from the trials of adulthood. <laughs> Things are not always peaceful in the treetops. Rival males will challenge each other for territory. Fights can be brutal. Without territory, males can't mate. The night is shared with many other animals that are nocturnal by nature. Some of them more welcome neighbors than others. Pythons are a real danger to a young koala, and ever protective mothers are on constant alert. Other nighttime tree dwellers do not cause such concern, more idle curiosity. The agile sugar glider enjoys feeding on eucalyptus sap, but at not much more than 100 grams, these shy little creatures are easily seen off. For an adult male koala, it is the other males that present much more of a problem.
Living on toxic eucalyptus, the koala's phenomenal sense of smell can detect which of the many species they have a tolerance to. The chemical tolerance is passed on from mother to young, even before they fully emerge from the pouch. Perfectly suited to their highly specialized life, the koalas of the eucalyptus forests are one of Australia's greatest treasures. Dingoes have been in Australia for thousands of years. Descended from wolves, these agile canines are sleek and efficient hunters. Lithe, elegant, ferocious, and highly alert, these magnificent pack hunting animals are Australia's largest land carnivores. Opportunistic predators, dingoes are flexible hunters and prey on birds, reptiles, kangaroos, wallabies, rabbits, and livestock. When livestock was brought to Australia in the 1800s, dingoes inspired the creation of the world's largest fence. Over 5,000 kilometers long, the dingo fence is built specifically to keep them away from prime grazing areas. Proud, majestic animals, they maintain pack dominance, hierarchy, and territory with characteristic efficiency. Their superb vision and incredible flexibility enhance their hunting prowess. Keen and intelligent hunters, pack size and hunting strategy are organized according to the prey they choose. Sheep are generally attacked from behind and are easily run down. Although livestock only accounts for a small amount of their diet, sheep are often killed or injured without being eaten. Once a sheep is chased down, a dingo may turn away and outrun another. Dingoes range over most of mainland Australia. In the alpine regions of Kosciuszko, they have a thicker insulating double coat and are slightly larger than those in the warmer, more northern parts of the country. In the parched, arid climates that can bake large swaths of the Australian countryside, conditions can be tough. A lone, drought-stricken, emaciated dingo finds it hard to survive. Access to drinking water determines where dingoes can live. In dry times, the liquid they gain from the bodies of their prey is an invaluable lifeline. Dingoes have a wide and varied prey range, but prefer medium to large mammals, which make up most of their diet. Although dingoes are very different to domestic dogs, they scent mark much in the same way, marking out their territories and defending them against imposters. Wild horses and dingoes are among the many animals drawn to the precious watering holes of the outback. Dingoes need to drink every day and take great pleasure in lapping up the life-giving liquid. Watering holes also offer easy hunting opportunities as so many creatures are drawn in to drink. Fraser Island on the east coast of Australia is a far cry from the arid interior of this vast country. 
the dingoes here could be the purest genetic strain that exists, protected by their island location from interbreeding with wild and domestic dogs. Lace monitors are huge reptiles that don't back down easily and are armed with sharp teeth, strong claws, and tough skin. They are seldom caught. Running free, these magnificent canines are at home in almost all of Australia's diverse landscapes, from ocean to forest to red center. Of all of Australia's 140 marsupials, the kangaroos are the most iconic, their bounding strides summing up the very essence of the land. All male kangaroos box in their quest for dominance, blows, grapples, and kicks sounding out throughout the outback. Kangaroos are the largest of the macropods. Their inquisitive faces and curious nature are a fixture of almost every part of the country. Eastern and Western gray kangaroos can appear very similar but westerns are often browner in color and slightly smaller. Red kangaroos are the largest of all. The graceful russet form of the mighty red kangaroo powers over the grasslands with rhythmic strides as its immense hind legs land on the baked earth. At full bound, these superb animals can clear nine meters in one stride. Female red kangaroos are often blue-gray in color and not red at all, while males are always the characteristic russet. This male joey will take milk from his mother until he is weaned at around one year old. Kangaroos take shade from the heat of the day. Their long, multi-directional ears act like radar, alert for signs of trouble. Dingoes are a serious threat to any kangaroo. A pack of them or of wild dogs could take down the largest of adults and kangaroos will flee from any sign that a pack could be getting too close. Rubbing his chest on the ground is one way a male will assert his status. Another is by kickboxing. The powerful hind legs of these western greys are edged with strong, sharp claws. The full impact of a well-placed kick is enough to disembowel an opponent. An intervening third male could soon turn a fight into a brawl. Dainty, delicate whiptail wallabies are found in the warmer parts of the Eastern Greys range, a range which, as its name suggests, takes in much of Eastern Australia. Eastern Greys are the second largest of all the macropods and hold the kangaroo speed record. At their fastest, they are able to travel at 64 kilometers per hour. For any kangaroo, moving on all fours is for slow travel only. Tail and forelimbs support their weight as they swing their hind legs forward. For travel of any speed, hopping is a much more favorable option. The energy efficient hop of the kangaroo draws on their immense energy storing leg tendons and their impressive stride length. They are the only large animals known to hop as their main means of locomotion. Large males have immense chest and shoulder muscles, 
along with powerful forearms and claws that can be used so brutally in boxing competitions. Competitions they must win if they are to be able to mate. From their early days, young roos practice the sparring skills they will need throughout their life. All the moves seem to be there, just much less aggressive of the real fights that are to come. Perfectly suited to the land in which they live, Australia's macropods have adapted to almost every environment. The yellow-footed rock wallabies of South Australia are the largest of those that make their homes within the craggy beauty of the outback boulders. The mighty hoppers are really the very essence of Australia. Australia is home to over 12 million wild house cats. These light, nimble felines are the only cats in Australia and have made homes for themselves in every part of the country, from rainforest to desert to woodlands and grasslands. Incredibly adept and proficient hunters, their feline prowess wreaks havoc on the native wildlife. It is thought that cats were first introduced to Australia as a result of Dutch shipwrecks and sea traders from Asia. Their numbers massively boosted when European settlers released cats into the wild to try to control plague numbers of rabbits. The cats took over. Independent, self-sufficient and adaptable, cats can produce three litters a year and will hunt anything up to their own size. Keen eyes, a sharp nose, and a legendary sense of curiosity can lead these furred hunters into crevices and caves, eager to explore the range of food on offer. Inside the huge mound of the greater stick nest rat hides its babies. Despite its impressive size, the nest is no barrier for the hungry cat. Agile, flexible, and at home almost anywhere, the incredible cat with its phenomenal hunting skills and carnivorous appetite presents an assault of colossal proportions to Australia's native wildlife. Unused to these exotic imposters, the animals of Australia, such as this burrowing frog, have not evolved defenses against these particularly sharp-clawed attackers. Wild cats are carnivorous in the truest sense, and daily food needs are between 5 and 8% of their body weight. To get this, most cats will eat up to 30 animals a day, which means that across Australia, its wild cats are killing around 75 million animals every 24 hours. With their acute senses and fine coordination skills, cats are perfectly suited for stalking and capturing bite-sized prey. Sharp retractable claws help conquer any location that looks as though it may lead to a meal.
opportunistic hunting habits suit opportunistic sleeping habits, and cats the world over are found napping and resting throughout the day. When something stirs to take their interest, they're always ready to investigate. Even the nesting site of the red-backed kingfisher hidden deep within a burrow is worth a look. As they trot nimbly over the rugged landscapes of this island continent, it seems as though nothing is off limits. The stealth and flexibility of these sleek felines is due in part to their ultra-flexible spines and shoulders. Cats do not have a fixed clavicle bone, which allows their slender bodies to follow into any space that their head will fit into. With their proud, uncompromising manner and uncanny ability to land on their feet, there are very few other animals that can threaten these wild cats. But this, the island Taipan, is one of them. The most venomous land snake in the world. The island Taipan is one animal the cat instinctively fears. predator of its native wildlife, powerful hunter and conqueror of all it surveys, the wild cat has unquestionably made its mark on Australia. Of all the animals that have evolved in Australia, there is one that is more intriguing more enchanting and more unique than any other. An egg-laying mammal with billowing webbed feet and an electrosensitive bill, the water-loving platypus is an animal like no other. Long revered in Aboriginal culture as a creature of wisdom, when European scientists first saw a platypus, its bizarre appearance shocked them so much that they thought the animal was a hoax. The usually solitary platypus has been seen foraging with pied cormorants. Both animals feeding on bottom dwellers. The birds have been observed, pecking at the platypus until it dives. Presumably, the platypus is better at hunting out the tasty morsels of the riverbed. The hind feet that are used for grooming their soft, waterproof fur have a secret weapon. Males have a venomous spur on the ankle of each hind foot that is capable of inflicting a serious assault. But it is the electrosensitivity of their bills that is their true trump card. The pores of the platypus's rubbery bill can detect the electrical pulse given off by the minute muscle contractions of the smallest of animals. With its eyes, nostrils, and ears closed, a hunting platypus can swim directly to its prey. This water-loving, egg-laying, super-sensed little mammal has got to be Australia's most unusual inhabitant. With its powerful dingoes, iconic kangaroos and koalas, invasive wildcats, and bizarre platypuses, Australia's wildlife is truly mesmerizing. 